Greetings all, Ferrari Man 601 here. Welcome back to Cold Waters and welcome aboard once again, USS Missouri. We are sitting here in the med and we have got a whole bunch of activity going on with our radar and sonar scopes. Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. Let's get going here. And let's turn the ship on in terms of our electronics and stuff. All right. What do we have? A bunch of merchant traffic. And looks like we have got a Chinese task force here. All right. Let's stay more or less where we are. Let's try and flank him this way. Come right to. What do we got? Ah, apparently they want to go visit the Italians for some reason. Why, oh why? I don't know. What sorts of assets do we have, though? We've got this transport. We've got these. I guess you would call this a destroyer. Oh, they even got a hangar for that helicopter. Not bad. Hmm. Little another destroyer. This is a more classic destroyer, I guess. But none of them appear to be doing anything that is overtly detrimental to our activities. It does have some vertical launch tubes. Or, you know, semi vertical launch tubes. I guess they would swivel in either direction, but they are all Chinese flagged. And they are just having a little bit of a time off of the southern coast of Italy. What is it that they are doing? I am not entirely sure. However, I am not entirely sure if they should remain. Let's see if there is anything that we might be able to do about this. Not see anything on the horizon. Oh, got something. There we go. There's a merchant. Nothing else out that way. Got another one here. Looks like another merchant. Okay. So nobody's terribly close to us. They might not even know that we're here. It's a little bit terrifying to consider, considering that we are not a small ship. We do not have a small signature. But perhaps we should make our presence known? Let's see. Who's the low-hanging fruit? Chengdu, one of these destroyers. He's kind of not following the rest of the crowd here. Should we say hello? Let's say hello. Let's see, do we have any sort of evasive maneuvering? Maybe a little bit. Con, helm, steady course. Does he seem to have any clue about what's coming his way? Maybe not. I am a little bit concerned about this merchant ship here. He's a Norwegian ship by the looks of it. 
Hopefully our missiles just pass over top of him without incident because he is right on course to be intersected by the course of our missile. All right, looks like one has passed by. There it is. Awfully close, though. All right, we got chaff going off by our target. Let's see what is, is active on him. Is it enough? like one of those missiles has been diverted. We've hit something. Oof. Yeah. We hit this guy. Wasn't necessarily the one we were aiming for. However, we did hit him. He is going down. This guy is opening up with guns. Let's just say hello in this way. Got two of those missiles outbound. We had another ship that was hit. This was a merchant. Ooh, yeah. Sorry. So that means just one of those missiles hit our intended target. Or one of our theoretically intended targets. Not bad. So what's not so good about these things, though, is if you do have multiple ships running in close formation like this, you are apt to have issues with hitting the one that you're aiming at. Those little guns, though, they can't be any more than, like, five, six inches. They are rapid fire, though, I'll give them that. There's no way that they're going to be anywhere close to hitting us. Because, yeah, our hull is at 100%. Anyway, we do have missile inbound to him. One just flew past. Is it going to circle around? I do have that awful noise, whatever that is. Like two missiles have been diverted. Are they gonna go after him now? They might. We may be hearing some sort of radar jamming or something. I'm not entirely sure how these missiles are guided. I would assume that they are some sort of radar guidance. But this guy is right in the crosshairs. Here we go. Yeah. And this guy could be next. Let's see. Yeah. Con sonar lost contact. Master four. Last bearing two, nine, six. Contact breaking up. Okay, so this task force is falling apart quickly. This Jung Hu ship is a little bit concerning. He's doing 28 knots. He's 20,000 yards away we may not be able to engage him with missiles. This Luhu ship could be interesting as well. Let's get another couple of missiles off. Let's see what we could do with that. But this guy is, yeah, Master 7 contact. He may require a different type of engagement altogether. 
which luckily for us is something that we could accommodate with our trusty battleship. That main battery of ours. Guns, engage. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. Good stuff. Real good stuff. I'll let it do another broadside. Alright, I'm seeing some splashes in his general vicinity, so our shots are more or less accurate. Fortunately, he is a small ship. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. Meanwhile. Bridge, battery. Aha. Got him. Another missile who is turning toward this guy with a quickness. Looks like he's been taken out. All right. Okay. This guy's been taken out with gunfire. Okay. Little bit of a course change. Come right to two eight one helm I. This one way out here. This one is of interest. He is right up against. Yeah, he's getting close to the boot section, as it were, of the Italian Peninsula. Let's get the Tasm out to him. Tasm or four. We have got this Chengdu ship out here. It'll be harder to get him with guns, so I think we should get him as well with some missile action. Okay. This one doesn't seem to know where he wants to be. They are just following these erratic tracks. They obviously are scattering because they know that they are in some big trouble. Nobody has really tried to return fire here. They don't seem to have offensive missile capability. And apart from launching chaff, they really don't seem to have any uh, defensive capability in terms of anti-missile. At any rate, we have got this Luda 3 ship, whatever it is. It's a destroyer of some sort. Missile should be coming into visual range pretty shortly. Yep. This Sea Wiz doesn't know where to fire. We shot one down. Got another one down. Third one is coming around to circle. Will we get a hit or will he defeat it? Missile is just circling tighter and tighter. Nope. It's like it's backing off. This ship is now starting to uh, defend.
does it want to do? See ya. Con sonar lost contact. Master one. Last bearing two. Nine. Eight. Contact breaking up. All right. So we got two hits to him. Only took one to take him out. He is still uh, trying to fire on us with his main gun. That double barreled thing doesn't really look like it's going to be able to do very much. We only have two contacts left. They're both trying to fire on us. I do see some splashes out in our closer vicinity. So they are almost within gun range of us, but they're not quite. could engage with guns of our own. We know that they're very accurate. Let's go ahead and change our course a bit so that we can open up all three turrets. Come right to zero, zero, five, helm I. Let's see what this guy can do against our missiles. passing. Is it going to try and turn? Not toward him. It's turning toward that Luda ship, whatever that is. And the second one does not appear to be altering its course to intercept. Nope. But this one, this other destroyer, is in some big trouble right about now. Let's see. Does the Seawiz take it out? Negative. Goodbye. Okay. That second missile may well hit. Let's see. Looks like it. Here we go. That went down the water. So really, uh, we've only got one TASM left. We could send out the Talum if we want, or we could engage with guns. Let's send out our last TASM. And we can start to engage with guns. All right, go ahead. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. What a sight that must have been. We even see our ship from him. Not really. Oh, not seeing anything. Con, helm, steady course. All right, we got splashes in the water. And his shot is getting pretty close as well. He's got a much higher rate of fire on his guns than we've got on ours, but ours pack quite a considerable more punch. Our shots are landing close, but it's not quite enough. His shots are getting closer.
Launch a Talum. He is almost uh, out of effective range for these missiles in terms of being too close. We hit him. Yeah, I think we did. Yes. Yes, we took him out. Okay. So we got these two missiles now that are just sort of flying out in no man's land with no target. But he is down. Looks like both missiles have passed slightly to the north. Where are they going to? They're just going to go out and hit whatever they're going to hit. They're flying at very high altitude. Hopefully they don't come down and land someplace in southern Italy. That would be bad. There's the second one. Yeah, that would be bad, but it kind of looks like they're going to hit the coast. I would hope that they'd run out of steam a little bit before then, but something tells me that their range is longer than I expect. So we may have just started a war with the Italians. However, uh, it does look like we have taken out the entirety of that Chinese task force. Can we call it a task force? They weren't particularly organized at any point, nor did they really put up much of a fight, which is fine by me. We did have one merchant casualty. Unfortunate. Kind of a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. But that is how it goes sometimes, I suppose. These missiles, though, had better do something. Hopefully they just harmlessly fly over this little spit of land and then self-destruct someplace because I really don't want to be responsible for hitting southern Italy. <laughs> that would be bad. However, uh, that is about it as far as we're concerned. We had some interesting Chinese activity off of Italy, and the interesting Chinese activity has been addressed. So that is about it. The battleship once again, proving why we ought to still have battleships in literally the current year, because, again, that ability to engage with good old-fashioned artillery or with electronic systems and missiles, definitely something that I think any good Navy needs.